You got me? Okay. Are we rolling? There you go. Welcome, everybody, to the third WebGL camp. And um, we should be uh, more people than are here right now. So uh, I'm thinking that um, starting before nine was a little bold. But um, that's okay. So um, one thing I would love a little help with was one of the things I learned from Ken and the YouTube live uh, team yesterday was that if you plug a live video stream, just as it happens, people like flock in by an order of magnitude more than they would have otherwise. So if you have, um, if you use Twitter, Facebook, whatever you want, would you put youtube.com slash webglcamp out there right now? Um, just get everybody on the stream, as many as we can, just keep plugging it. And I mean, if you would do it once or twice throughout the day or whatever, it seems to have this renewal fact, even though that has a slightly sort of spammy quality, but because it's real time, maybe you'll be forgiven by your friends and family. So um, the WebGL spec hit one zero at GDC back in March, I believe. It's been a kind of an exciting time and it's definitely been gathering steam and I think we're almost like starting to smell like a little bit of hype even like a few weeks back, there was this like overblown security craziness that even happens. I think that's when you know you arrived. So um, it's in Chrome, it's in Chrome stable, and it's in Firefox. And as someone who runs a um, WebGL based site myself, I my anecdote that I've heard from a couple of the 3D artists who upload models to my site was. Not until I right clicked did I realize this wasn't Flash, which I kind of loved because it just says, hey, it just worked. And everything that just works around Rich Media must be Flash, right? No, it's not Flash. <laughs> not, not a knock on Flash, and you know, they've earned their keep. So we've had a couple of these before. We had one at Stanford. That's about a year ago now. And we had one at SRI. Um, which they kindly co-sponsored back in December. So we're on track to keeping these biannual, and I'm thrilled that we're doing number three here uh, at Google, who have been a tremendous co-host for us. And uh, we're actually hoping that there's going to be a WebGL camp for us, well, six months out. It's not like it's in any kind of concrete planning right now. But if you find yourself in a position to help co-host it, you're with an organization who cares about this stuff, that might want to do what Google had done for this one, what SRI kindly did for the last one, might come hit me up because um, I think we're onto a good thing here. And um, there's definitely been an increasing amount of interest with every camp, culminating in the interest around today's camp. And the videos that we have put out from these things are really being watched. So um, I think we've these camps have served their little purpose of helping sort of WebGL um, get to where it is right now and hopefully uh, move beyond that. And there's a hand down there, but I'll repeat your question, but that brings me to a point that I have. Because we're on a video stream, if you during today just sort of shout something out, that means that you're taking everyone around the world who's sitting watching this live out of the loop. So we do have these mics that we're going to be around, and I'm going to be a little bit of a mic Nazi today because um, I really know that people are watching the stream. And it's very important to me that we don't degrade their experience. So I'll repeat your question, but feel free to say what you wanted to say. No, we don't have a Facebook. We have webglcamp.com and then uh, plug, the, plug the stream. So um, um, we don't have a Facebook page. I mean, in fact, like this is, you know, I like to say that we put camp after the title of the event because then you don't have to have your shit together. <laughs> So um, I'd like to uh, invite my co-organizer up here and after I just say a quick few words of it. And this is the, obviously the time normally at these events where you get a soulless corporate suit up here. <laughs> we couldn't get one of those today, so we would have to make do with the chair of the WebGL working group, Ken Russell. So please give him a hand. Ken, come up here. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm, I'm really tremendously excited by the progress that WebGL has made on the net to date. Um, there's just some incredible WebGL experiments that are showing up, demos, uh, visualizers, all sorts of cool visual effects, applications, games, uh, Tinkercad, oh, amazing stuff, you know, uh, manufacturing using WebGL. Um, so it's really tremendously exciting to see the momentum around it. And it's great to see you all here today. Um, what I would like to do is, uh, this is very confusing. 
uh, an event of this size, even of this modest size, uh, doesn't happen without the help of a lot of people. And so before we even get started, I would like to thank a whole bunch of people who helped this come together. Um, our admin, G Gaia Sidris, uh, took care of basically getting everything organized. Uh, Ian Lewis from DevRel uh, took care of the initial uh, setting up of the event. Uh, Heather O'Meara was responsible for basically overseeing all of the various teams. So need to thank uh, Natalie Coward and the catering team for the excellent lunch that you will have shortly. Um, facilities and security for taking care of making sure that the laptops are going to stay here. Um, and the reception team and Andrew out at the front desk, who I'm sure that many of you interacted with on the way in. Um, the, uh, I, I want to give a special thanks to Mark Chow and um, Nathan Boosfield from the uh, learning media team here at Google because they got us set up with an initial backup streaming setup that we didn't actually end up using, but without it, we wouldn't have been anywhere and wouldn't have been able to put this on the net. And then I really want to give a major thanks to the uh, Google Live streaming team for the awesome YouTube Live setup that we have today. Uh, I want to thank Colleen Henry, George Gomes, who's in the back of the room, uh, Dennis Tojo, Greg Elliott, and Matt Alderetti, uh, who got all the audio working beautifully, and I think we're going to have a really high production value uh, set up today and archived for posterity on YouTube. So that's really all I have to say. Um, 